Hi there, this is uh, Brian from quantlabs.net. Uh, the site's been alive now for over just over a year or approaching a year. Um, lately we've been getting a lot of questions from, from uh, I guess you could say maybe students or beginners uh, asking how do you get into quant, where do you start, blah 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 blah. Uh, I've put together a brief um, little posting on the site at quantlabs.net on how to get a lucrative high paying quant job. Uh, basically what that does is just covers all the basics on what you need to know, where to get started, and uh, where to go from there. Um, just all in all, I just wanted to let you know, I'm, I've been on the same journey myself. I'm a 20 uh, year plus, uh, I guess, career minded uh, developer, IT guy. Uh, I've always had a huge interest in um, financial uh, as well as blending in the world of quant. But my big weakness was always math. Um, now the thing is, is like I always thought, do you have to get into quant through a PhD or a master's level uh, with, with those type of degrees? Or could you just go out and start your own equivalent of a prop shop for, pri for, pri pri for proprietary trading? I sound like Porky Pig. For proprietary trading, or hey, if, up to you. If you could do it, start a hedge fund. Anyways, I typed up this uh, this uh, brief posting about how to get a high uh, lucrative high paying job in the quant world uh, with the two big cities of New York and London uh, I have seen some jobs playing in the neighborhood of a million plus uh, if you know C++ really well I have seen jobs for analytical research uh, at 300,000 pounds uh, in UK uh, so there is some big money to be made out there but obviously those kind of jobs are really for PhDs and master level students. But if you're really good uh, and being a master either at the math side or the computer science side, you could probably do really well in this field. So let's get started. Where do you get started? Um, all in all, do you really need a PhD or master's? More and more jobs are requiring it, but I have seen some postings in some smaller companies where all they care is that you just get the job done and your performance is measured only based upon your knowledge and your experience. So it is possible you can do it without a PhD or a master's. Um, now, one thing that I need to uh, make you aware of, LinkedIn is a huge uh, resource for uh, anything you want to learn about quant. Just join any of the quant-related uh, uh, groups on LinkedIn. You'll find a ton of them. Uh, there's also ones on hedge funds, on uh, on virtually, uh, man, you, you, you can get so many. Um, algorithm based trading, high frequency trading, blah, 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 blah. I could go on and on and on. Um, but this, this link right here is where you get started. Um, let me just show you the URL for that. So I made it nice and big so you can see it and you can write it down, you can freeze it. Um, and that's where you need to go uh, for this posting. So back to where we go. So we got LinkedIn groups. Um, I do run my own group as well. Um, and that's got about 400 members. And that's the link right here. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, you can hyperlink on over by just clicking it, obviously. Um, so let's say you get to a certain point uh, and you do feel you're confident for job searching. One of my favorite sites to go is to jobserve.ca or jobserve.com. Was it .co UK for British jobs? That's where I've seen the most paying, the best paying jobs. Now, there's also a place that you're looking for recruiters. Use this guy, Dominic Con Connor. Um, he's associated with uh, Wilmot, uh, who I'll be mentioning in a bit. Um, and uh, you can go to them uh, or pa uh, Paul and Dominic, a PND. I've, I've provided those links again. So again, just go to that uh, link I showed you earlier. Um, and there's also some really good online resources for how to prepare for uh, searching for jobs. Um, there's one put out by a guy named Mark Joshi. Uh, it's, it's awesome. Um, there are a ton. And then you also have a quantnet.com uh, forum uh, for, let's say, financial engineering students to blah, 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 talk to each other about career-related, looking for jobs. It's good resources. Now, here's the crucial part. I'm going to first show you what you should know uh, on the technology front as a developer, as a programmer, as an IT guy. 
I've got a newsletter going. This is going out to all my thousand plus uh, um, guests, call it fans or um, people that uh, are part of my email opt-in list. Um, let's say if you want to join, uh, it's free. Hey, why not? I don't uh, spam. I don't release your information. Uh, it's just to allow people about what, what's going on with me. Just go to this site here. Very easy. Quantlabs.net. Um, doesn't get easier than that, right? Uh, so there's another resource for you join this email list uh, I don't release uh, your email and as I said we value your privacy uh, and you get a lot of cool bonus stuff here but just go to that URL for that uh, info I know I'm, I'm pimping myself here but that's okay that's what it's all about um, so let's go back to that survey so people from that email opt-in list answered these questions and about the technologies that I was leading into C++ is number one. MATLAB is number two. Now here's the difference. I did list Java, C Sharp, Python, and R. Uh, these are your popular programming tools. C++, no doubt. Um, it's the closest programming language to any processor. That's the chosen language. That's what industry uses, and that's what pays the high-paying jobs, the million-plus, the 300k uh, pound job. Um, MATLAB is really used for prototyping, for research. No one in their right mind would want to do live trading with MATLAB. It's too slow. And up and coming is R. If you're a more open source guy, can't afford MATLAB, go with R. But with me, I focus on these two languages. C++ for my production, server for any trading platform I work with, and MATLAB for researching and prototyping. And I use the toolbox from within MATLAB that can generate those models that I prototype and research with and bang them out in C++ and then that is 100% native uh, trading platform uh, that is as fast as it comes. Here's the interesting uh, language is R. R is a fairly new language. It's a lot less mature than MATLAB. Um, good, uh, good language. It's just not there yet. I just don't feel the ecosystem is as good as MATLAB. Um, if you really need to get up and running fast. I just love MATLAB. I've been using it for like four months. It, it is an expensive product, but it is worth every penny uh, with all the toolboxes. Um, and of course, there's a C++. So those are your technologies that you need to know. Now, let's get into what you need to know on the analytics side or the math side. That's the tough part. That's what really throws people off. Fortunately, there's a lot of good stuff out there that's free. Um, the two things that you really kind of need to focus on are um, multivariate calculus, okay? This is a free textbook that I read a few months ago. It was very helpful. Um, it is not an easy book to, to digest, but if you have a background in math, that, would, that will help you out. So write that down this uh, URL. Also, you also need to know um, your algebra, linear algebra. This is another book you might want to try out just so that you can manipulate matrices and that's what MATLAB's for because um, you'll be working with some large data sets um, I don't know if you've seen my historical database you're looking at 280 million records and that's just for me for testing when you get into the real big bad world you'll be looking at data sets like that you've never seen before I'm sure of it so those are your starting points for the math side um, for linear algebra and multivariable uh, a multivariable or multivariate calculus. Again, here's the links. Um, this is for the, uh, let me just show you the uh, link for uh, algebra. You can always pause this and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's get into the books that I have read and I've digested myself. Um, there's two godfathers of quant. There's Paul Wilmont and John Hull. Um, this is the book that everybody reads. It's Paul Wilmer on Quant Finance. You can get this off of uh, Amazon. It's a three-part series. It's 1,800 pages. It's huge. End of story. Um, there's also John Hall. It's fairly the same as Paul Wilmot. I like to read both. Um, this one's about 800 pages. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you time, you might want to go to John Hall. But for the complete picture... I want a lot of the real world, real experience quant guys are uh, using and referencing from. It's Paul Wilmont, no doubt. Um, Paul Wilmont's the big boy of the uh, quant world. All right, so 
talking about math. Now, you're going to be hit with a lot of stuff if you're like me who's a numbnut when it comes to math. Fortunately, YouTube is an awesome, awesome resource for picking up really easy, easy to absorb stuff on math. One of my favorites is this uh, channel on YouTube called Khan Academy. Real easy uh, to, to, to pick up. You got calculus, you got, um, uh, and I know you have linear algebra. And those are your two core um, concepts you need to pick up for, uh, for uh, quant. Another area, which is more practical for the industry world, for trading world, I guess, or investment world, is Bionic Turtle. Um, again, this guy is really good at breaking down the basic statistics, you know, things like VAR, blah, 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 blah. Um, really, really simple stuff. Um, and I'm just hoping that uh, this is a really good starting point for y'all uh, to get. And I'm not American. And uh, that is a, a, a very um, helpful set of resources to get you moving ahead in quant if you're starting from zero knowledge. Um, now, going back to schools, uh, obviously... You know, having a PhD is awesome for a big name, as well as uh, same with a master's. Uh, so do it. Get it out there. Drive is important, um, and you should be well on your way.